everyone, this is an unboxing video for Wise Starter Kit, Wise 2210 series. This is the topology of this Wise Starter Kit project. This starter kit aims to provide plug and play function for user. The configuration of the modules are pre set up during manufacturing, and the WebSS dashboard had been created too. But what is the suitable scenario for this starter kit? For example, the IEC 61A53 Certified Power Automation Computer ECU4784, as shown on the slide, provides high reliability and stability for global power automation application. But in the field, how to monitor the power consumption is the most efficiency and the most convenience. One of the good solutions is utilizing the WISE 2210 series to monitor the current of the machines. This series does not require external power source. By connecting CT modules to the three AI channels, WISE 2210 is able to monitor the current and being powered on at the same time. WISE 2210 utilizes Advantech sub gigahertz wireless technique to upload data to WISE 4210 AP. The line of sight range could reach approximate 1 km. WISE 4210 AP utilizes Ethernet cable to transfer data to the control room. A user can easily monitor the power consumption on the WebSS dashboard. After you open the box, you can see inside there is one startup menu, one 2210 with antenna, one 4210 AP with antenna, one thumb drive which contains WebSS SCADA license key, three current transformer for WISE 2210 3 AI input, two brackets for two modules, 160 watt power adapter, one power cord, one Ethernet cable, one screwdriver, and one US micro USB cable. First, power on WISE 4210 AP module. The white color is positive, black color is negative. Connect them into the terminal block. Then connect the power core with the power adapter. When the module is powered on, the LED will be light on and starts blinking. Next, power on WISE 2210 module. Utilize USB cable is for configuration and power it on. The LED at the bottom will be constantly on if it is powered on. For application scenario in the factory, this is not required, so USB cable will be removed after configuration. Connect the Ethernet cable between the AP and your laptop for configuration. Please follow the starter kit startup menu. In the first page, there is the pin definition of WISE 2210 series. Connect the CT sensor into these three channels. And then the pin definition of WISE 4210 AP. In the second page, there is the step-by-step -step instruction teaching you how to set up the WebSS environment. Power on the module and install this WebSS into your computer. Scan this QR code to generate the URL and download the USB hotkey menu to generate 75 text for your project. Scan this QR code to generate this URL to download the WISE starter kits on our support portal. Again, scan the QR code to generate this URL and download the FAQ which Explain the step by step how to duplicate the dashboard and the sketchboard into your computer. 
After all these steps are executed, connect your computer with the WISE 4210 AP. Make sure the PC is in the same IP domain with the WISE 4210 AP. The default IP address is 192.168.1.1. Suggest first you log into the WISE 4210 AP to check if the WISE 2210 is connected with it. The account is root, password is 080. The IP address is shown on the start our menu. Go to the end devices and check if this one is the MAC address of your WISE 2210. If it is, you can check if the inactive time is the default setting. It will update every 60 seconds. The final steps of the starter key. You can scan the QR code and get the WebSS dashboard. On the left side, choose WISE 2210 series and you can see the data transfer from WISE 4210 AP. If you cannot see the data, then you can go to the WISE 4210 AP and device page to check if the WISE 2210 is transmitting the data to the AP. If you cannot see any data here, then go to WISE Studio and check the status of 2210. Thanks for your listening. Have a nice day.